Okay, London style, I would say effortless, a little rock and roll, and a bit kooky. For me, what defines a great perfume? I would say something that lasts. Um, and you know it's great when someone comments on it, when someone goes, what are you wearing and where can I get it? <laughs> Should I talk about these three? Yeah. Do you want me to? Because these are all mean something to me in some way or another. So. First up is Red Roses, and I started wearing Red Roses when I was 18 years old, and I always still go back to it. It's like an old buddy. I love it very much. Um, Amber and Lavender is the cologne that my husband was wearing when I met him when I was 22, and it was one of our first conversations, because I was like, I like your aftershave. It's like, it's not aftershave, it's German in London. And honestly, it was a talking point. So obviously it means a lot to me and I've made it in a miniature size so I can carry him everywhere I go. Um, and then Peony and Blush Suede is probably my new favorite. Um, it's feminine, it's floral, but it's got a little edge to it and people always comment when I wear it. I didn't actually know this, but around the time um, that I was getting married was when I first started working with Jo Malone London and they said, oh, you must come in and choose your wedding fragrance. And I was like, what do you mean? I'm gonna wear red roses, I've always worn red roses. And they said, no, 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 you've got to have a special fragrance that you wear on that day and that day only, because whenever you smell it, it will bring back those memories. And so my tip to any bride would be to do that. Don't wear the fragrance you always wear, wear something completely different and then you can always cherish it. Because when I spray Orange Blossom now, I literally get butterflies and feel giddy, and it's really special. And I didn't know to do that, so Jo Malone taught me to do that. I'm a bath girl. I mean, I've done a whole collection based on my love of bath time, so bath all the way. Definitely take makeup off, something I only discovered in my 30s, which is revolting and um, ridiculous actually but I would say best beauty tip I just um, love creme de la mer night cream all over the face face like a baby's bottom in the morning maybe some pretty flats by Tabitha Simmons she's one of my favorite shoe designers so Flats. Flats because I'm basically a giraffe and I don't need much more help in the, in the, in the shoe department. So either little Converse trainers or some pretty flats by someone like Tabitha Simmons or Aquazura. I love their shoes. Because I'm dressed up right now, can I say dressed down? Because I just want to be cozy. <laughs> When I'm off duty and I'm not working, I literally live in a Zoe Jordan tracksuit. Literally live in them. Um, not only is she a dear friend, but I've been wearing her clothes since she started. And I just noticed that they're actually here in Brown Thomas, which is so exciting. But yeah, when I'm not working, when I'm traveling, I look straight to Zoe Jordan. Instagram, I'm rubbish at Twitter. Rubbish. Don't follow me on Twitter, it's crap. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I, uh, I've, I've been known to watch, I don't know, Jersey Shore, all of those kind of TV shows. Um, I get really obsessed with TV shows. It's not trashy, but I'm on season five of Breaking Bad at the moment, really late to that game but really enjoying it and I've watched Grey's Anatomy from season one all the way through to season 15. You have two? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And again, not trashy, they're like family to me now. Um, <laughs> I love them so much but it's clear obsession. It would have to be Red Roses because if I didn't say that I'd feel like I was cheating on her, you know?
my engagement ring. It is, I wear it every day. My engagement ring and my wedding ring. <laughs> Let's say both. Um, but yes, I wear them every day and my husband designed them with a jeweler called Leo de Vrooman and um, it's literally the most special thing in my life. Oh, so many women inspire me. Um, friends, family, but Meryl Streep, Meryl Streep is my icon. I feel like she can do anything, act anything, and seems to be a completely genuine and lovely person all at the same time. And I very much look up to her. With a long bath, <laughs> literally the longest bath ever until I'm prune-like. Um, but literally, simply lying on my sofa with my husband with a massive bowl of pasta the size of my head, watching really good trashy TV. Time. I would never give up time. I just wish there was more of it. Ooh. Can I say both? That's so hard, because I, oh. Because I love the whole fe feeling of being like, cozy and layers and fires and like hot toddies. But then I'm always so happy like swimming in the sea. Yes, I need both and freckles on my face. I need summer and winter, both, please. <laughs>